Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add mileage reimbursement to an employee's paycheck. Okay, so this happens all the time. You know, the question comes up, you have an employee that has a mileage reimbursement, they submit an expense report, and you can do it a couple of different ways. You can actually set them up as a vendor and enter a bill and reimburse them that way, cut them a check, whatever the case may be. Uh, or if you run payroll through QuickBooks, you can set them up or, or set up a payroll item so that you're reimbursing the mileage in their paycheck. Okay, so I want to show you how to do that here. All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to go to the employee center. Okay, the payroll center. Okay, so let's go over here. And we're going to click on that and up here you're going to see what's called the payroll items okay so if you click on payroll items it's going to bring up a list of all the items all right so if uh, if you're familiar with other parts of QuickBooks and what I've talked about in our QuickBooks University training is items are typically the things in QuickBooks that you're going to bill for on an invoice well there's also payroll items okay and all of these payroll items are set up when you have payroll in QuickBooks to, to basically tell QuickBooks how to treat certain things, okay? So in this case, we've got all these different items, payroll items, and we need to set one up for mileage reimbursement, okay? So what we're gonna do, you can just right click anywhere on this list and you can click on new, okay? And select the setup method, easy setup, Okay, that's what we're going to choose. We're going to click next. Okay, and we're going to go through here. Okay, and we're going to choose other additions. All right, so let's click next. It closes out all these windows here. All right, we'll give it here one second. Okay. So set up additions. Tell us uh, about anything else that affects your employees' paychecks. Choose all that apply. We're just going to uh, click mileage reimbursement. Okay. And if you need an explanation, you can click on that uh, link right there. Go ahead and click next. Okay. And then we click finish to save your new payroll item. Okay. So now if we have our payroll list here, we should be able to look down here and say mileage reimbursement. Okay, tax tracking is none because this does not have taxes. Okay, so if I double click on this, it's going to show me a little bit of different screen. So you can change the name of the addition here. Mileage reimbursement is fine. But if you click next, um, enter the account for tracking this expense. Okay, this put this under payroll expenses. But what I would recommend is that you actually set up a separate account Okay, I've already done this in the sample company file, but usually under the automobile expense account, a sub account called mileage reimbursement. Okay, you can also put it under travel. Some people will put it under travel. This sample file does not have a travel account, uh, but I like to put it under mileage reimbursement instead of just that generic payroll expenses because it's really not a payroll expense. It's just a reimbursement of mileage. Okay, so we're going to change that there. We're going to click next. We're going to leave that none because there are no taxes on a mileage reimbursement. Okay, again, these are all by default unchecked because they do not have taxes associated with them. Okay, and we're going to calculate this item based on quantity. Okay, all right. Select whether to calculate on gross or net pay. If it's a percentage, okay, net pay, but mileage is not going to be a percentage. It's going to be an amount, okay? Okay, default rate and limit. The rate you enter here will be the default rate for this item when added to the employee record, okay? So this is going to be the mileage reimbursement um, amount, okay? And I don't recall off the top of my head what it is for this year because it changes every year, but I think it's around 56 cents somewhere in there, okay? All right, so now we have our mileage reimbursement set up. And when you go to pay your employees, I'm gonna see if I can actually do that in this sample company file. But if we go to pay employees, okay? And if I open up one of these uh, paychecks here, you can see here, it's not gonna automatically include this, okay? 
So what we want to do is you're going to click over here and you're going to see the, you know, the drop down mileage reimbursement. You'll see the rate at 56 cents a mile. Okay. And you're just going to put in, let's say 153 miles. Okay. So what you'll see here is when I did that, it's going to put mileage reimbursement over here in the paycheck at $85 and 68 cents. Okay. Which is just 153 miles times 56 cents. All right. So this has no taxes associated with it, but it adds it in to the check. So it increases the net check amount. All right. So I'm going to just cancel out of this. Uh, let's see. Yes. I want to close this and uh, we will just go back to the home screen. So that'll do it. That's how you set up a mileage reimbursement to be included in an employee's paycheck. And it cuts down on having to set them up as vendors and having to cut a check or write a check or whatever the case may be. You can just include it in their direct deposit and have it reimbursed right through payroll. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Would also love to have you join us over at the QuickBooks University where I walk you through uh, through 47 training tutorials, step-by-step, -step, how to get up and running and how to use QuickBooks day-to-day, -day, and also offer personal support where I answer all of your QuickBooks questions. Again, that website, qbuniversity.org, and I look forward to talking to you soon.